This video is for anybody who's curious about the Marine Corps rifle range and just what the experience is like. Um, I didn't necessarily have Marines in mind when I made this because they pretty much already know. But your first days are going to start out early. You're going to be at your armory or whatever by four or maybe earlier than that depending on how far away you are from the range. And then from there you're going to get your weapon and then you're going to head down to where you will be shooting at which for me was Wilcox Range on Camp Pendleton. So this is how every day begins. And so you have to uh, go to bed pretty early and wake up pretty early. And that's what you're gonna have to do the whole week. So it's not that much fun. So when you finally make it to Wilcox Range, you're just gonna sit around and eventually what's gonna happen is they're gonna give you the instructions for the day. They're gonna give you your ammo. They're going to explain what you're going to do, and then you're going to head down to where you actually start shooting at. So, that's essentially it. And, uh, I'll let you listen in. He was just walking around knocking on doors. He has like nothing to do. Our XO is so weird. He's not married, is he? No. Mitchell went outside to go get his laundry. He's out there talking to somebody. And he comes back in. Listen up. If you're a dual shooter, you need to be on that 4 3 light. If you're a dual shooter, that means if you're shooting rifle and pistol, you need to be on that 4 3 light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the first day, you're going to do a uh, BZO, which is pretty much just to make sure that uh, your weapon is shooting accurately, first and foremost, and that you can actually position and shoot the target accurately so that when you go back further and the 200, 300, and 500, that you're actually able to hit the target uh, with some accuracy. Uh, they go, you know, uh, the week before this, there's a grass week where you're taught the fundamentals of what you need to do and how to do it. And then this week is essentially, you know, the actual fire week and the execution of those fundamentals. And so this is just to ensure that you can actually hit your target. And if you need any assistance or any adjustments, that they'll be made at this point. So following clip is going to be the 200 yard line sitting. At the 200 yard line, uh, there's three positions that you're going to do, which is sitting, kneeling, and standing. And then there is a rapid fire portion, and I have included a clip so you can see. If you look at the targets, when you shoot, they're going to mark your targets with a shot spotter, and then they're going to use a scoring disc to show you what you got. So uh, it goes 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, and miss. So if you look, the bottom left is a five, the bottom right is a four, the um, top right is a three, and the top left is a two. And if you miss, uh, you'll get du dual uh, shot spiders. So you can just enjoy and watch the course of fire and see what it's like.
uh, just a quick note, I recorded this video on the first two days, um, and then the third day is the quality, which I was not able to film because I didn't want to get dropped for cheating or being accused of cheating. Uh, what they're about to do now is the rapid fire, and so they're going to load their magazines and drop down and you have to shoot under some duress and uh, try to get your rounds, so watch that. Once you're done shooting, uh, they're going to, in the pits, they're going to score your target and run it back up so you can see where you shot and where your group was at. And that's what happens. And so after you're done with that, you move to the 300 yard line. And that's where you will do a sitting portion and then another rapid fire. But instead of going into sitting, you're going to go into prone, which is like a laying down position. So keep watching.
So they're going to wait to see their shot groups. But while they're doing that, uh, after this, they're going to move to the 500 and maintain the prone position to shoot the next 10 rounds. That's the course of fire for 500. So the entire course of fire is five rounds to the 200, sitting, standing, kneeling, 10 rounds at the rapid fire, sitting, 200, then five more rounds for sitting at the 300, 10 for rapid, prone, the 300, and then 10 prone at the 500, which is what you'll see. That's what they do on quality day. On the earlier days, they do a little bit more, a longer course of fire, more rounds to give people the chance to improve and to get used to the course of fire and get used to practicing the fundamentals to help them out. Once the course of fire is done, since I was part of the first and second relay, we're going to head down to the pits so that you can see what the people who are down there pulling your targets and, and uh, scoring, what the actual process is like and what it looks like and what the experience is like. So uh, part of this video was tricky for me to make because I had to hold the camera and move the camera and also shoot and stuff. So it's not as detailed, but that's what the next clips are going to be. It's just the experience in the range and some. That should be hot, man. Why that? Oh, like how I almost want to not win. You know, you can do one.
time to walk back. So as I said, I recorded Monday and Tuesday, this is a compilation of those days. I was not able to record on Wednesday, which is the fall day, because they were really anal about the use of personal electronics because there's a fear that you could use it to cheat, and I didn't want to uh, be dropped for using my camera. So the fall day is essentially the same as a bit shorter, and you get your actual score. If you pass, then you go on to the Table 2 Course of Fire, which you will be seeing in the next few clips. And then, you only do that for one day, so the pre-fall and the fall is that day, the final day of the range. So, that's what you're seeing next. This is the scorecard that they're going to use, and this is how you're scored. What's going to happen is, when you're shooting, um, they're going to... Your partner, who's in the second relay or the first relay or whatever, is going to score your ticket for you, just so that you know what you're doing and how you're doing. But those cards aren't going to count. The ones that are really going to count are the ones that are in the pits. And so, those are the people who are actually scoring your target, and they're going to write down and that's normally what your score will be based off of. So that's the scoring process and that's the scoring card. I'm gonna say ten thirty. Well you know what? We didn't we didn't get cast. I showed it one of the get cast. This is the table two day, which is the pre-call and the fall day. 
So it's just pretty much some live action drills, and it's a fairly fast course of fire. It's done at the uh, 25 and 100 yard line. So you'll see the 25 yard line course of fire in a moment. Now with this one, I wasn't quite able to uh, hold the camera again. So um, these are the moving targets and you'll see more of those in the pits, what that looks like. You, you can't see it from this angle, but what's going to happen is um, this is after moving back to the 100 yard line, they're going to move up targets and you have to shoot the movers as they move. You're going to drop to the knee like they did and then shoot at the movers to try to uh, place eight round on it. Uh, I was not able to get this, but you will see more of it when we go to the table two pits. So uh, you can just watch this and then you'll see more in the pits.
I just wanted to showcase the target so you could kind of watch it get shot up. It's pretty cool. So just watch and you'll see the, the rounds hit. I tried to get it in slow mo, but I couldn't time it just right. So this is what it looks like when you're down there. And, you know, uh, the table two is a little bit easier because they're going to shoot a whole bunch of rounds and the process is a lot quicker and easier, a lot less manual labor you have to perform. So we're going to do a table two course of fire. Um, I just wanted to hear you guys. Uh, I like you guys here the Marines speaking. And I don't know. I'm sure people like that. This is the movers that I was not able to get that I wanted to see. So it's going to lift it up and you're going to walk slowly from side to side. And that's what you have to shoot at at the 100 yard line. So that's what everyone's doing here and that's what it looks like. So I was not able to film this from the other yeah. side. But this is what it is and this is part of the table two course of fire. Get it back up and move towards that's that line. Then we leave for the day and we're done with the rifle. And the So the best part is cleaning your weapon afterwards and uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to include some pictures that I took while I was on the range. It's pretty beautiful out there. And uh, if you liked this video and would like to see more, just please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll produce more. Thank you.